Hey everybody, welcome back to the Diet Doctor YouTube channel. Today I want to tell you about a news piece that we recently posted on our website at dietdoctor.com about time-restricted eating. Now it seems like low-carb diets and time-restricted eating kind of go hand in hand. I mean, clinically it certainly seems that eating low-carb makes time-restricted eating easier to do. And there's clear benefit from time-restricted eating, both from you know, a clinical perspective. We have hundreds of doctors on our site who swear by time-restricted eating, but also in research, um, in healthy people, also in you know, non-human studies. Dr. Sachin Panda uh, out at Salk Institute in La Jolla has done some good studies. But now we have a pilot study that just came out in people with metabolic syndrome. So this is where we're starting to get into sort of people with metabolic diseases to learn how does time-restricted eating affect them. And here's what I find so interesting about this study. All they did was shrink the eating window a little bit, okay? 10 hours of eating, 14 hours of fasting. They didn't tell them what to eat. They didn't even tell them how many meals to eat. No other lifestyle interventions. Just as simple as it can be. And what they found was they lost three kilo in, in only 12 weeks. They lost three kilograms. They lost four centimeters around their waist. They improved their blood sugar. They improved their insulin. They improved, improved their blood pressure by five millimeters of mercury over six. So systolic of five, diastolic of, of six. Their LDL went down a little bit. Um, I mean, it was minimal intervention for only 12 weeks and they saw some, uh, some significant changes. So... To me, that's very exciting because what I want to know is what's coming next. And I had the good fortune of talking to Dr. Pam Taub, who is uh, one of the senior authors on the paper. And she admits this is a, a small pilot study that may not you know, get into professional guidelines, but it gave them the momentum to now do an NIH-funded study that is much larger um, on time-restricted eating. And from my perspective, I mean, come on, we can improve upon this so much more, whether we shrink from three meals to two meals, whether we shrink the eating window from 10 hours to eight hours or six hours, whether we make sure you're eating a healthy low carb uh, meals when you are eating. There are so many more interventions we can make beyond what they did in this trial. And granted, they didn't want to complicate the trial. I get that. They wanted to answer the one specific question, which they did and are continuing to do in a larger trial. So this is really encouraging. Time-restricted eating works. Something as simple as just just constricting your eating window. You know, we're always looking for the biggest benefit for the lowest effort, or at least a lot of patients are and physicians are, because you want a quick intervention that your patient's going to adhere to. And that's what they found in the study. So this is really exciting. I'm looking for I'm looking forward to a lot more coming from Dr. Taub and Dr. Panda as they were co-authors on this paper. Um, and they are really working hard in this field. So uh, go to dietdoctor.com if you want to read the full post. Make sure you hit subscribe down below uh, so you'll get all our updates for Diet Doctor News. Have a great day.